All right, it is January 1st, New Year's Day. And um, I am going to show you something on these seats. Um, so this is the second seat. This is the front seat up here. So, so these seats here um, don't really have uh, any purpose in my uh, vision for the van. So uh, the second seats swivel. The front ones do not. This is a 1990 G20. So if you're unsure as to whether your front seat swivel or not, I'll show you what to look for. Under the front seat of that's in the second position, there are two levers, one and two, one off to the side here. This one makes the seat go back and forth, and this one makes the seat swivel. In the first position, aka the passenger seat, under the passenger seat, you will see that there is only this one, which makes it go back and forth. There is no other lever off to the side to make it swivel. At f when I first looked at it, I looked in here and I seen, oh, there's a bolt in there and that's that pin is keeping it in place. But then uh, I think if you take that bolt out, this bolt that you can see down here, if you take that bolt out, I think the uh, seat may just spin freely. There's no locking mechanism because there is no second lever on either side. So my thought is uh, I have to take these seats out anyway and then I want to take the passenger seat out and do a full tune-up, pull the dog house and it'll just be easier to do while that seat's out. But um, when I go to put the passenger seat back in I want to try and put in one of these swivel uh, secondary seats and change over the uh, the seatbelt hardware, which is reverse, and the stems stick out a little longer. So time will tell whether that's going to be an issue or not. Stick out farther than the front ones. The front ones are in quite close. So depending on how they're attached, we'll see. So as far as removing this is concerned, I think. The way they installed it was they put the base of the chair down and then put the carpet on top of it and then bolted the top of the chair to the base because there's no cuts or creases in the carpet at all so my uh, removal is not going to be probably quite as delicate. Just trying to think this through before I start hacking up the carpet. But if you look under, there's the bolts. Not hard to find them, and they've got long, long bolts on those nuts. So uh, I don't have any sockets that are deep enough for that. So I think the way I would try to um, tackle that is I'd put a vice, set of vice grips on the bolt, and then when you turn from the top, the uh, vice grips are going to jam against the uh, frame rail, and. Uh, and just not move. So I'm kind of basing everything on uh, accessing the bolts from the top, which is difficult because there's so much padding under here that it's even hard to find where the top of the bolts are. And if that seems too close in to me, it seems like the plate should be bigger than that. But I could be wrong because there's a there's a bump there, and there's a bump right there, and they're both about the same distance from the center. I know this is horrible camera work. This vehicle was recently um, crown rust proofed, so this is going to be a dirtier job than ever. Anyway, I just gotta think my way through this. So won't you please send me a note? I'd love to see just what you wrote. And if you could please hit 
subscribe